UFI have finally entered the PoE NVR market. Let's find out what it is, what it does, and does it live up to the hype? Hey UFI fans, it's me Paul, admin of the world's largest UFI dedicated Facebook group, UFI Security Camera Owners. Today we're going to be looking at UFI's new release, the PoE NVR Security System. So, what is a PoE NVR system? PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet, and this is where the camera is connected by an Ethernet cable, which provides both data transfer and the power. An NVR system is a network video recorder, which is a type of video recorder with a hard drive installed on which the footage is stored electronically. Setting up this system is extremely easy when compared to other UFI cameras I've had in the past. This is truly a plug and play device. So all you need to do is plug the NVR system into a power outlet and into your uh, router. You then need to plug each camera into the back of the NVR. For me, that involved drilling a hole from the inside to the outside of the house, routing the cables through, and then using a little bit of creativity to hide the cables around the garden, over the house, etc. to give a more neater look. Once the NVR is plugged into a monitor or TV via the provided HDMI cable, you then move on to plugging the camera into the back. The device will then automatically find that camera and display it on screen. Eufy currently offer three cameras in this range. Along with the NVR recorder, the choices of cameras are the S4, which is a pan tilt zoom camera with a bullet camera on top, the E40, which is a bullet camera, and the E41, which is a dome camera, which can be manually positioned. So now we'll take a look at the PoE cameras I have. So I have the E40 fixed bullet camera and the S4 Max, which is a bullet camera with a pan tilt zoom camera underneath. So the E40 is designed to be mounted to a wall, for example, or to the eaves of a property. So this can move up and that will then aim down to where you place that camera. So this one's a 4K fixed bullet camera. The next camera I have is the S4 Max. Now this one is a pan tilt zoom camera and a fixed lens bullet camera above. The fixed lens bullet camera is a 4K wide angle lens camera. The one underneath is a 2K pan and tilt camera. So the way this camera works is quite interesting. So it's very similar to the S340 in shape. I think it's actually slightly bigger. But with this one, this camera on the top is a wide angle 4K lens and this can be pivoted up and down to give you the best angle. So this doesn't move left and right, it's just up and down and that is a manual tilt. So what this camera would do is pick up a subject and now that's up to 50 meters away, it will pick up movement of a person or, a, or an animal, a pet, for example. It then tells the pan tilt zoom camera to lock in on that subject and follow it around. I will show you footage of the way this works and it is uh, it needs to be seen to be believed. Once it's locked on, it does not lose that subject until they move out of view. Okay, so now the S4 Max in action. The fixed lens has found me at the uh, bottom of the garden. The pan and tilt lens has turned around to find me and will keep me centered and framed, zooming in for more detail. I then venture behind the tree and the camera will wait for me to reappear. Um, here we go. Although it's only legs, it does know it's a human, and there I am. It will also track small animals, in this case a small chihuahua, around the garden, keeping it zoomed in and centre framed. Something else this camera also does is if there's multiple subjects on screen, so as we can see here, two chihuahuas, the camera will zoom out and try to keep those in frame. If one leaves the screen, the camera will then concentrate on the remaining subject. The S4 Max also has infrared night vision where it will still detect small animals, people, etc. and track and zoom in on those. And as you can see, the S4 Max also has very clear night colour vision um, called starlight vision. It has no issue finding, tracking and zooming in on subjects. 
It will then decide who to follow as I'm the one that's moving. It then follows me back to the house. Controlling the system can be done by three different methods. Firstly, via a mouse connected to the MVR, connected to a TV via the included HDMI cable. Secondly, via the Eufy app, in which you can also view multiple cameras at once. And lastly, via a web link, enabling you to view footage, control the system via a laptop or a PC or tablet. The Eufy PoE NVR does so much more than capture footage, so here's a list of additional and extremely worthy features. The enhanced AI within the NVR allows you to search months of videos in an instant using keywords. Here I search for person wearing red and it instantly sources all relevant videos. More complex searches can be entered. For example, here I entered person waving a blanket but within seconds the results were shown. Using this method to find footage you require will save hours of searching. The next worthy feature is dynamic privacy zones, which the arrow indicates on a neighbouring property. As you can see, as the camera pans and tilts, the privacy zone stays in place. The next feature is cross-camera tracking, which is already available on Eufy's non-POE camera range. This allows one camera to trigger another, creating a movie of that person's movements. The cameras also come with an audible alarm and a bright red and blue flashing light, which should scare off any trespassers. You'll need to check local laws regarding the use of the red and blue light, of course. Eufy are also releasing a Wi-Fi module which will connect to the NVR and allow all non-POE Eufy cameras to connect and take advantage of the extra storage and the enhanced AI. So there we have it. That wraps up my Eufy POE NVR review from setup to real world performance. So what's my verdict? If you're comfortable or know somebody that can help you route ethernet cables from inside the house to outside, this is an extremely capable professional grade security system, well worth considering. In testing, it didn't miss a thing. With auto framing, 4K resolution, 20 frames per second, and smooth, accurate tracking, anyone trespassing or just dropping off your latest Amazon order was captured clearly and easily identifiable. And thanks to the lightning fast AI search function, Finding that footage has never been easier. So, thanks for watching. If you found that helpful, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe, and also ask any questions in the comments. For further help, you may want to consider joining our Facebook group, UFI Security Camera Owners, where the tens of thousands of members are all willing to help. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.